Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Let's worship God once again. Let's praise his holy name this morning by saying amen, amen. Blessed is the glory. Wisdom stars given are honored. Power of beyond to the Lord forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Blessed is the glory, Lord. Glory. Wisdom stars given. to honor him this morning, adore him this morning, magnify his name this morning. He is worthy of our praise, he is worthy to be glorified, he is worthy to be magnified. Blessed be the holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we adore you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We magnify your name. Oh, blessed be the holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We magnify your name. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Blessed be the holy name. 
For in Jesus' name, we have praised. Daddy, we are here once again this morning to present our case before you according to Isaiah 41, verse 21. My Father, my Lord, and my God, we are here as your children. My Father, my God, to attend to our case, to settle our case, and to fight our battle. Lord, we are asking this morning, let there be your presence. Father, surround us with your fire. Lord, answer all prayers. This morning, glorify your name. This morning, O oh Lord, manifest your power. Turn things around for better for us, my Father. Daddy, I pray if there's any plans of the enemy or any agenda of the devil in this house today, my Father, cancel it in Jesus' name. My Father, my Lord, I may pray every evil, every, every demonic expectation against any members of this church and against your church, my Father, disappoint them in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, my Father, every demonic assignment that we against any one of us, O oh Lord, in this house today, that assignment, Lord, nullify in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are the yoke breaker. Every demonic yoke, every satanic yoke, Lord, against anybody's progress here, Lord, break that yoke in Jesus' name. My Father, my God, and my Lord, I pray, as we gather before you, Lord Jesus, this morning, every evil covenant programmed into our life, programmed into the life of our children, my Father, Lord, I pray, we lift up our voice at this hour. We raise an altar of prayer against that evil covenant. Lord, let the covenant be broken. Any setback covenant, any anxiety covenant, any covenant of sickness and disease, covenant of limitation and stagnancies, covenant of reproach, embarrassment, any program, O oh Lord, covenant, by your blood this morning, break the covenant. Break the covenant. Break the covenant. Today, O oh Lord, glorify your name. Settle everyone that needs your settlement. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Psalm 130. Psalm 130, we want to ask God for his mercy, his forgiveness over us. He said, out of the death I have cried to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our voice. Let your ear be attentive to the voice of our supplications. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand, but there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. We wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and his word I do hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than those who watch for the morning, yes, more than those who watch for the morning. O oh, the new life in Christ's ministry, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. And he shall redeem the new life in Christ's ministry from all our iniquities. Praise the Lord. I want us to lift up our voice this morning say, My Father, in the name of Jesus, have mercy upon me, forgive all my sin. Pardon all my iniquity. Brethren, open your mouth and begin to pray this morning. Begin to ask God, my Father, I come before your presence this morning. Have mercy, O Lord. Mercy, 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 mercy. Mercy triumph over every judgment. My Lord Jesus, I'm asking for your mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon me this morning. Lord, have mercy upon me this morning. Forgive my sin, pardon my iniquity. 
Whatever sin that won't allow you to attend to my case, whatever sin that won't allow you, O oh Lord Jesus, to fight my battle, whatever sin that won't allow you to disappoint my enemy, whatever sin that I've committed against you, that will make me to be defeated before my enemies, O oh God, have mercy this morning and forgive my sin, O oh God. Whatever sin, whatever iniquity, O Lord, have committed, that will allow your promises to come to pass, that will allow you to lift me up, O oh Lord, to take me to the next level of my life. I'm asking, Lord Jesus, for forgiveness of sin. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Isaiah 24, 25, verse 4. Isaiah 25 and verse 4. We want to ask for the strength of God. In all things, we should be asking for the strength of God. It is God who can strengthen us in the battle, in what we are passing through, in anything. It is the strength of God. Say, for you have been a strength to who? To the poor. A strength to the needy in his distress. A refuge from the storm. A shade from the heat. For the blast of the terrible ones is as, is as a storm against the world. Zechariah 10 verse 12. Zechariah 10, verse 12. So I will strengthen them in the Lord, and they shall walk up and down in his name, says the Lord. Psalm 71, verse 18. Psalm 71, verse 18. Can we read it? Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. Let me explain this place. The, the scripture says, now I am old. When we are teenagers, 16, 20, 22, 25, you know what you can do, isn't it? When you are 30, going to 40, you know what you can do. But from 40, 50, 60, you know that you have a gray headed. But he say here, it will strengthen us. You will say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, even though in my gray, in my grave, in my grave head, Lord, my Father, strengthen me. Open your mouth and begin to cry for strength. As I'm growing old, my Father, strengthen me. The Bible says, now also when I am old and gray-headed, oh God, do not forsake me. Do not forsake my ministry. Do not forsake my calling. Do not forsake your church. My Father, I pray, oh Lord, my Father, until I declare your strength, oh Lord, until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who's to come, my Father, I pray, oh Lord God, my Father, Lord, strengthen me, empowered me, my Lord Jesus empowered me, King of glory empowered me, Lord of Lord empowered me, Lord Jesus empowered me, Lord Jesus empowered me, my Father, my God, and my Lord empowered me, oh Lord, my Father empowered me, I need your power, oh God of Moses, I need your power, empowered me, Lord Jesus, my Lord, empowered me this morning, empowered me this morning, oh Lord God, my Father empowered me, King of glory empowered me, Lord of Lord empowered me, Jehovah Nisi empowered me, Jehovah Jerry empowered me, Lily of the Valley, Rose of Shadow empowered me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who empowered me, Lord Jesus, empowered me, Lord Jesus, empowered me, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Proverbs 18, verse 10. I want to lead us in a prayer after this prayer this morning. Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong. The righteous run to it and they are saved. Who run into it? So we have to be right to God, to men, to in every area we are, 24 7 8. Or if God is speaking, He's speaking to His people. And who are the people of God? The people that write with Him. The right people with Him. 
The people that have the right mind with God. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are saved. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, in every trouble, in my father's house, in my mother's house, whatever calamity that used to befall them, in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my hometown, limiting destiny and glory not to speak. Because I run into your name today, Father, destroy every calamity. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Protect me, my Father, Lord Jesus, in my Father's house. Protect me, my God, my Father, in my mother's house. In my wife's house, Lord Jesus, protect me. In every calamity, Lord Jesus, that used to be before then, in my Father's house, my mother's house, where I was born, where I was trained, that limiting glory and destiny over my children, over me, over our wife, oh Lord Jesus. Jesus over our grandchildren. Lord, we run into your name. Let us be saved. Rescue us from that calamity. Rescue us from the powers of darkness. Open your mouth and begin to pray this morning. Lord, the Bible make me to understand the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Lord, your word say, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Lord Jesus, all thing has come to pass. New we declare, O oh Lord, in the book of John my father, the word of God says, whoever the son has set free, he is free indeed, my father, in my father's house, in my mother's house set me free, rescued me and delivered me from every calamity that used to be for glory and destiny in that family whatever calamity whatever evil covenant that don't allow glory to speak that don't allow glory to shine in my house, oh lord, in my father's house, in my mother's house, lord in my hometown, where I was born, where I was trained, Lord Jesus, break them, destroy them. Every calamity, every evil covenant from my sibling, from my sister, from my brother that can be affecting my destiny and glory, that can be affecting the glory of my children and their destiny, that can be affecting their future, that can be pulling them back. Lord, destroy that evil covenant now. Break the covenant because your word say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it. They be all saying, Rescue me and deliver me. Rescue my minister and deliver my ministry in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, and my Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' wonderful, mighty name, we have prayed. I wanted to say, Louder, Amen. We want to pray according to Male Keri Bosondo Keri Masanda Keriaba. Isaiah 7, Makeri Bosondo, verse 5 to 9. is for someone here this morning. I want you to pray and nullify every bad dream, every satanic dream, every demonic plan against you, every evil programs against your future. I don't know why God spoke this into my hearing. I want us to pray according to this scripture. The Bible says, because of Syria, Ephraim and the son of Ramalai have plotted evil against you, have plotted evil against us in the dream physically and spiritually to limit our destiny, to limit our future, to cause a walk in our way. He said because Syria, those are the three people fighting against one person because Syria, Ephraim and the son of Ramalai have plotted evil against us saying, yes, go ahead, let us go up a against the new life in Christ's ministry and trouble in. If you can say another amen, whoever that will gang up to trouble you, the Lord will trouble them. And let us make a gap in this war of ourselves and set a king over them, the son of Tabel. The king that they wanted to set is demons and demonic to monitor your movement, to monitor your destiny, and to stop you. He said, and set a, a, a king over them. And the Bible says, Thou said the Lord God, it shall not stand. Say, it shall not stand. Say, it shall not stand. 
Say it shall not stand. Every demonic expectation shall not stand. Every demonic plan shall not stand. I cannot hear you in another amen. Every bad dream shall not stand. Nightmare shall not stand. Whoever that wanted to stop your destiny, the Lord will stop them. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall not stand, nor shall it, go to, nor shall it come to pass. Go ahead for me, for the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is rising within 65 years, within 65 months, within 65 weeks, within 65 days, within 65 hour, minutes, and second, Ephraim will be broken. Say they will be broken. Your enemy will be broken. My enemy will be broken. The enemies of the new life in Christ will be broken by the power and the blood of Jesus so that will not become a people. The word of God says, the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Ramallah's son. If you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. Because we believe, we will be established. Say, Father, say, Father, by the power and the blood of Jesus, every bad dream, every nightmare, I nullify, I cancel, I revoke, I reverse, I renounce. Open your mouth, those who are waging war against you in the dream. Reverse them, renounce them. It shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Thou say the Lord. Thou say the Lord God. The word of God says it shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus. Anyone one that waged war against me in the dream, oh God, my father, they will fail. They will be broken in Jesus' name. Every sequel, oh Lord, let them be nullified. Every powers of darkness, let them be nullified. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil thought, nullify now. Every powers of darkness, cancel it now. Revoke that dream. Renounce that dream. It shall not come to pass. Every evil program, Walking against you, revoke, renounce, destroy them right now. Begin to pray against that bad dream. Begin to pray against it now. Begin to nullify, begin to cancel. Cancel every evil evil voices in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, brethren, begin to pray. My Lord and my God, my Father, I pray. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I nullify and I cancel in the name of Jesus. I cancel it, 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 I cancel it. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want us to pray again concerning that dream. The Lord says, someone, you are here. This week you dreamt terrible dream. And when you wake up, the thing is, 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 is ringing. It's moving you in the spirit. Amen. That is why the Lord said we should pray this and cancel it. Matthew 18 verse 18. Matthew 18 verse 18. What did he say? Assuredly, can you give me, is it NKJV or what? Let me see NKJV first. No, let me see K, KJV. I want to fish out something there. KJV. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I don't know the 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 scripture says, whatever you permit or not. Is it, uh, can you give me, is it GNB or whatever? So you can go to my NKJV. It says, whatever you permit on earth shall be permit for you in heaven. And whatever you, you disallow or not. Pastor Mike, can you find that? Uh, you, have, you get it. Yes, thank you. And, and, okay. I tell you the truth. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forbid in heaven, and whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. Say, I did not permit them. So if you permit that bad dream, it will be permitted. If you forbid it, heaven will forbid it for you. Say, my father. Ha! Say, my father. Say, my father. I did not permit. Every 
every evil agenda in the name of Jesus let the heaven reject it for me open your mouth and begin to pray I did not permit them in the name of Jesus I tell you the truth whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden for you in heaven and whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven open your mouth and begin to come against it don't 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 permit it that bad dream negative dream negative thought Lord I reject it untimely death premature dead sudden dead I did not permit in my life open your mouth and begin to pray remember the book of Numa says whatever you say to my ear that I will hear and I will do open your mouth and begin to pray forbid them forbid them forbid evil agenda forbid bad dream forbid satanic dream forbid net nightmare forbid backwardness limitation stagnancy forbid them right now right now right now right now right now according to the word of God he said whatever you forbid or not oh my father shall be forbid for you whatever you permitted or that shall be permitted for you in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father blessed be the holy name for in Jesus name we have prayed do you like your condition do you like the way you are I want to move up and say father say father be my condition I did not permit it. Change my condition now. Begin to move around and pray. Tell to God, whatever you forbid on earth shall be forbid for you in heaven. And whatever you permit on earth shall be permitted. Lord, I don't like palatable law condition. I don't like failure. I don't want failure condition. Lord, I don't want shape condition. I don't want it to oh God. My condition, I don't want it to oh God. Change my condition. Change my situation. Open a new chapter for me oh god rewrite my, my rewrite rewrite my story lord open a new chapter answer my prayer today your word declare to me in the book of numba that whatever i pray oh lord i speak into your ear that you will hear you will do oh lord my father my god and my lord in the book of numba 14 and verse 28 number 14 and verse 28 the word of god says say to them as i live say the lord just as you have spoken, just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. Open your mouth and begin to speak now. Don't permit failure. Don't permit untimely death, premature death, sudden death. Don't permit them. Don't permit failure. Don't permit reproach and embarrassment. Don't permit poverty, rejecting, renouncing. Break the power. Break the backbone. Break the power. Break the backbone. Break the power. Break the backbone. Break the power break the backbone 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 makakariba sanda le korea ba le makorima sende la keribo sonda break it now break it now every unpalatable situation break it now destroy and disconnect yourself from evil evil association in the name of jesus Begin to pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. The word of God says, says to them as I live, says the Lord, just as you have spoken into my hearing, so I will do to you. What are you saying to God right now? Talk to God. Change my situation. Ha, 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 ha. Change my situation. Talk to God. My situation has to change. My father, before the end of this week, before the end of today, there is nothing that is too difficult for you to do. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Decree right now. Decree, 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 decree. Declare it as you mean it. 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 Open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth and declare. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Whatever you say to my hearing, I will hear and I will do. Declare to God, you are the child of God. There is nothing that is too hard for our father to do. Yes, talk to him right now. Yes, talk to him right now. Talk to your father. Talk to your father. Talk to your father. 
Talk to your father. Talk to your father. Talk to your father. Talk to your father. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Stay where you are. We also want to pray. Genesis 18, verse 14. Genesis 18. Place after we read this through scripture, you go back to that number for me, sir. The word of God says, whatever you say to my hearing, I will hear and I will do. This month will be our month. Yeah. Is anything. Say my own will not be too hard for God to do. Oh. Loud and clear. Say my own oh. will not be too hard for God to do. Is anything too hard for the Lord at the appointed time? I will return to you according to the time of life and Sarah shall have a son. This came out, it came to pass in Genesis 22, verse 1. Yeah, 21, Genesis 21, verse 1. It came to pass. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he has spoken. I pray before the end of this month, our life will never remain the same. In Jeremiah 32, in Jeremiah 32 and verse 27, in Jeremiah 32 and verse 27, God said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? You will go around and begin to pray. Remember that number. Whatever you say to my hearing, I will hear and I will do. There's a Yoruba proverb who says, you will, ref you will refuse what you don't want to eat. You will use your mouth to reverse and to reject, to revoke what you don't want in your life, in the life of your children, in your family, in the life of your, of your wife. You reject, you renounce. God says, says to them, as I live, is God still living? Talk to me, is God still living? And he said to all, say the Lord, just as you have spoken it to my hearing, so I will do to you. I want to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, don't let my own be too hard for you to do. Say to my case right now, oh God, say to my case, say to my case, my own will not be too hard for you to do. Oh, my father, my father, my father, oh, my father, bro, my father, Lord Jesus, my Lord and my God, my own will not be too hard for you to do, my father. Oh, my father, I pray, your word says to them, as I live, father, you are still living, my father, you will live forever. Oh, Oh Lord said the Lord, just as you have spoken to my hearing, so I will do to you. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Talk to God, my own will not be too hard for you to do. Talk to God, visit me now. The way you visited Sarah, visit me, my father, visit me, my Lord. My father, Lord Jesus, and visit me. I cry before you, Lord Jesus, to visit me. And I kneel God, visit me. Visit me, Lord, visit me, my Lord, visit me, my Lord. Talk to God, visit me now. The way you visited Sarah, visit me, my father, visit me, my Lord. My father, Lord Jesus, and visit me. I cry before you, Lord Jesus, to visit me. I need God, visitation. I need God, visitation. Visit me, my God and my Lord. I declare and I declare it right now. Brethren, why can't you open your mouth and pray? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. As the servant of God, as the children of God, talk to God right now. He said to you and I, as you are spoken into my hearing, so I will hear and I will do. Talk to God to do my own, O Lord. Do my own, do my own, do my own, do my own. Don't let my own be too hard for you to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, don't let my own be too hard for you to do. My Father, my God, and my Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, my own will not be too hard for God to do. By the power in the blood of Jesus, my own will not be too hard for God to do for me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, 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 my own will not be too hard for God to do this morning, O oh God. My own will not be too hard for God to do. My home will not be too hard for God to do. My home will not be too hard for God to do. My home will not be too hard for God to do. My home will not be too hard for God to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, my own, my father, will not be too hard for God to do. Lord Jesus, do my own. This morning, do my own. At this hour, at this junction, do my own. By the power in the blood of Jesus, do my own. Do my own. Do my own. Do my own. My own will not be too hard for God to do, oh God, in the name of of Jesus, my father do my own, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My own will not be too hard for God to do. My own will not be too hard for God to do. Oh Lord Jesus, my Lord and my God, my own will not be too hard for God to do. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are still praying. God promised us in this house that before the end of this April, that we visit everyone and life will change. And I want us to talk to him. Change my life. Second King 4. We are starting from verse 12. We are still in the same prayer. Second King 4 from verse 12. We want to talk to God. 2 Kings 4, verse 12, Then he said to Gehazi, his servant called this Shunammite woman. When he had called her, she stood before him. Brethren, you are serving God, yes or no? Brethren, you are paying your tithe, yes or no? Brethren, you are bringing your, your sacrifice, yes or no? Brethren, you are pledged and redeem your pledge, yes or no? Brethren, you are contributing towards the progress of this church, yes or no? Exact what this woman did. But a prophet of God said, when he entered into the woman's house, that day things change. I decree today, according to the power that reigns in this house, our life will change. For better, for good, it will change. For transformation, it will change. For upliftment, it will change. For enlightenment, it will change. For testimony galore, it will change. In the name of Jesus. Then he said to Gehazi, his servant called this Shunammite woman. When he had called her, she stood before him. What is it that the Shunammite woman did? He feared the man of God. He, 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 he welcomed the man of God into her house. He, he, he prepared a better place for the man of God. As you have did that day, Barrenness disappear. I declare and I declare in our life, poverty will disappear. And he said to him, Say now, he said, Say now to her, Look, you have been concerned for us with all this care. What can I do for you? Jesus is asking you right now, What can I do for you? Remember that number, whatever you say into my hearing. I will hear and I will do. There is someone here today. If your amen should roar like thunder, the Lord God will hear you today. Amen. What can I do for you? Do you want me to speak on your behalf to the king or to the commander of the army? She answered, I dwell among my own people. You need one thing. The woman said, I'm controlling this nation. I'm a next person to Buari. I'm a next person to Tinubu. I control everywhere. I have everything. Amen. The woman was selling Elisha, I have money. I'm an important person in this country. So you don't need to talk to government for me. But he lacked one thing. Everything that we lack today, the law will settle it. Yes, you may have money. You may not have good health. Yes, you may have everything, you may not have long life, but everything that lack in our life today, I decree, the Lord, oh God Almighty, will settle it in Jesus' name. So he said, what then? Is to, he said, what then? Is, so he said, 
What then is to be done for you? And Gehazi answered, Actually, she has no son, and her husband is old. Why Gehazi say so? Gehazi is a servant of God. The servant of God, remember, they prepare a room for him, staying there 24 7 on a daily basis. But Gehazi is a servant, walking in the house, looking at what is happening. Gary, uh, doing I'm a boy in the house. He know the bedroom of the woman. He knew that the husband is old. He know everything. And Gehazi said to his server, his master, since we have come into this house, we did not hear the noise of child. The people that will report you to God or acknowledge your situation for change, the Lord will send them to you. It is Gehazi that dictate what happened in that house. I pray in the name of Jesus, the people that will mention your case, that heaven will hear, and that your destiny helper will hear and help you, that one will connect with you now. So he said, call her. When he had called her, she stood in the doorway. Then he said, about this time, Remember, God says, is there anything too hard for me to do? The man of God said, about this time next year, you shall embrace a son. And she said, no, my Lord, the day of your manifestation, you will not say no. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. Our head will not reject it. Amen. The man of God has spoke, but the woman, because she's unbeliever, she say ignorantly, no, it can't be. Why do women say no? Because she's an old woman. The husband is old. I don't want to know the year that you have been in that situation. I don't want to know your age or what I declare to your destiny today. From this moment, your destiny will manifest. Then he said, about this time next year, you shall embrace a son. And she said, no, my Lord, man of God. Ha, ha, man of God. After you are eating my vegetable and my, and, and my pandedia. Where do you want to get that? Man of God. Amen. Do not lie to your maid servants. Do not lie to what? To your main servant, say, hey, the man of God just want to say something and go because I've prepared vegetable like goosey soup for, for him. He have ate my part of the arm. Nice fufu, nice uh, semovita. Don't just speak. Man of God, don't just speak. Amen. But the woman conceived. Either you say no or not, your answer will be answered. Your prayer will be answered. Either you believe or not because the power of God is in this house this morning. Every prayer will be answered. God will hear us this morning. God will listen this morning. God will settle us this morning. Our life will change this morning. Our glory will speak this morning. Our soul will share this morning. By the power in the name of Jesus. But the woman was, but the woman conceived and bore a son when appointed time has come, of which Elisha as 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 said have told her. Now in Second Kings seven, in Second Kings seven, please I want you to follow us the way we are praying this morning. In Second Kings seven. Second Kings seven verse one. Then Elisha said, "Hear the word of the Lord. Thou says the Lord, who spoke? Talk to me. Who spoke? Not Elisha. God put His word in the mouth of His servant. If I be a servant of God." Everyone in this house this morning and every faithful members of this church, I revoke their spirit here to connect with what is happening this morning. I prophesy and I decree the Lord will rewrite our story. 
before we will leave this place this morning, I hereby decree testimony galore. I hereby decree life changing. I hereby decree upliftment. I hereby decree divine connection. I hereby decree prophecy disappear in the name of Jesus. Then Elisha said, hear the word of the Lord. Thou said the Lord, tomorrow, somebody say tomorrow, my life will change. I will reach my goal in the name of Jesus. About this time, a sage of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel and two shells of belly for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. Every famine in our life will disappear. Every disappointment will disappear. Shame, reproach, and embarrassment will disappear. Barrenness in our life will disappear. Failure will disappear. Sickness will disappear. Disease will disappear. In the name of Jesus. Verse 18. He says so. He said it in this place. The man of God spoke by the word of God. The famine will disappear. There will be surplus in the, in, the, in the city of Samaria in verse 18. So it happened just as the man of God has spoken to the king saying, Two shells of belly for a shekel and a shell for a flower, or five flower for a shekel shall be sold tomorrow about this time in the gate of Samaria. What happened? Then that officer, that officer had answered the man of God and said, Now look, if the Lord will open the windows in heaven, could this will such a thing be? And he had said, In fact, you will see, you shall see it with your eyes, but shall not eat it of it. You know this story that the four lepers brought it to come to pass. God used the four lepers to brought it to come to pass. Say, My father. Say, My father. Say, My father. I am on the line. I'm the next person. Change my life before tomorrow morning. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I don't want this my situation. I don't want the situation I am right now. My father changed my story. My father touched me. My father take me from back to the front. My father fight my battle. Open your mouth and begin to pray. If you believe in the word of God, if you believe that God can do it, if you believe that there's nothing too hard for God to do, pray then begin to pray. Remember the book of number that God said number 14 that God said whatever you say to my hearing I will, I will hear and I will do number 14 verse 28 open your mouth and begin to pray terminate poverty terminate sickness terminate disease in your life terminate untimely death premature death sudden death terminate failure terminate failure terminate failure terminate shame terminate disappointment promise and faith terminate death Oh, on love. Terminate then. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My father, my God. Oh, my father. I declare and declare every closing border against my progress, against the progress of the love in Christ ministry. Declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, my father, my Lord, and my God. Lord Jesus, I come before your presence. Let it be all the promise of God in my life that you come to part in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Are we tired? If you're tired, you sit down and pray. If you are rest, you stand up again. This is the month of April. And I don't want this month to pass me by. Remember, when prophecy goes out, Satan will follow it to a jacket. When prophecy goes out, Satan will follow it to hijack it. Remember the book of Genesis? When God said to Adam and Eve, don't eat this food. You know what is happening in verse 3? That Satan said to the woman, is it true? He said, no, don't mind God. He hijacked he their their enjoyment in the garden of Eden. You remember he met our Lord Jesus Christ and he said, if you are Christ, the Son of God, turn this stone to bread. But Jesus said to him, 
man shall not live by bread alone, but by the word of God who proceed, but for the word who proceed from our mouth. I want us to pray when prophecy goes out, Satan follow it to hijack it, to cause his delay, to cause his frustration, to cause his denial. When you begin to, when you begin to, when you begin to doubt of that prophecy, it will not come to pass. Remember the Isaiah 7 that we read, verse 9, who says, if you don't believe, it will not be established. You have to believe your prophecy. If the prophecy is from, is come from through the man of man of God, believe it. The Bible says, Nabakok 2, write it down. Write in the plain picture. It will surely come to pass. He said, do it study. Wait for it. So far, you are still alive. The next prayer point is in the book of Psalm 35. We have two prayer points here. Then I take us to the book of Psalm 63, verse 9 and 10. Then we sit down. He said, what you will say today, plead my cause. Do what? Huh? You are asking God to fight your battle. Plead my cause. In, the, in, in any court of law, in any court of the witches and wizards and witchcraft, be my judge, be my barrister, be my lawyer. Plead my cause. By the Rocco tree, whereby they took my name to, in the tea junction, plead my cause. By the bank of the river, on top of the river, inside the river, plead my cause. From evil mountain, where they are kindled evil candle against me, plead my cause. God did it for Jacob. When, when his brother, his sister brother, want to destroy him, he told him, never say anything good or bad to Jacob. That is Laban. God won Laban. He played the cause of Jacob. You want to pursue him? I did not say you should not pursue him. But all what I'm saying to you, never touch him. Never speak place of the eater. Never speak evil or good bad to him. God has played the cause. Today, God will plead our cause. Amen. He said, plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Do you know them? Sister Philomena, do you know them? You know your enemy? Bra Yemi, do you know your enemy? Your best friend may be your enemy. Your husband may be your enemy. That you are eating together. You are making love together. Inside, in the spirit, it may be your best enemy. Your pastor may be your enemy. And you don't know. He you know G. God said in the book of Jeremiah 17. If you look at it from verse 16. From verse 6. Can you give it to me before we go back to Psalm 35 and see what God qualified human being? Amen. Can you give me uh, Jeremiah? Is it Jeremiah 17? Yes, 17. Go, go down. Number 7. Go to number 8. Jeremiah. He said, who can who can tell it? God say he know the heart of all men. Jeremiah 17, I think. Yes, it's Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17, verse 9. Verse 9. 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked acts not face. God is not looking at face. God is looking at your heart. He said, who can know it? Go, go ahead, 10. <clears throat> I, the Lord, search the hearts. I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind. Even to give every man according to his way, according to the fruit of his doing. People can invite you to a party, can invite you to McDonald's, can invite you to any precious restaurant. 
but inside him or her is your best enemy. When they see you, they will say, oh, good afternoon, man. Good afternoon, sir. Hallelujah, sir. They have killed you before you come. God say you know it. God say you know it. Let, let go back, sir, to, that, to, the, to, to Psalm 35. I want you to pray. You will talk to God. Whereby they mention him in name. In any court of law in the realm of the spirit, plead my cause. Stand by me. Fight my battle, O Lord. Brethren, don't you know that if, including me and my family, don't you know that if enemy release us, they didn't tamper with us when we are born, we will not be in this stage. Hey, mama. Is it true, man? The way that God created you and I, the kind of grace that God bestowed upon us, the kind of, of, of destiny we brought, the kind of glory that harassing people that we brought into this world, if the enemy or household wickedness did not tamper with us, we would not be in this position. Yes, ma'am. Many of us, it's because of the battle that make us to leave Nigeria to come to Europe. I'm telling you. People are doing fine, but because of the battle, at 40, no husband. At 40, you don't marry, no wife. Amen. It is battle. But David said, Lord, I hand over it to you. Plead my cause. That is our prayer. Am I, am I making sense? Yes. Plead my cause, O oh Lord. With those who strive with me, fight against those who have fight against me. Give me Isaiah. Isaiah 41, sir. Is it 40 or 40? Yes, 41. Give me verse 10. We are talking of strife. God mentioned it, that those who strive against you shall perish. Your mother's children can strive, can strive against you. Your father's children can strive against you. Your blood brother can strive against you. The people you brought into this country, spending your money on, they can gang against you. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. This is not where I'm going. I will help you with my righteous right hand. Yes, go ahead. Behold, all those who incend against you shall be ashamed. I cannot hear your amen. amen. And disgrace. They shall be as nothing. And those who strive with you shall perish. Amen. And David said in Psalm 35, go back there. Plead my cause, O God. With those who strive with me. I want us to pray that prayer first. Raise up your right hand. Say, my father. father. Is that how you can shout this afternoon? Father. In the name of Jesus. In any court of law. In the realm of the spirit. In the air. In the sea. In the evil forest. By the evil mountain. Plead my cause. In the name of Jesus, I begin to pray. James 2 verse 13 says, Mercy triumph over every judgment. Begin to talk to God. Every evil judgment in evil court, in evil law. My father, let mercy prevail. Let mercy prevail. Let mercy prevail. Plead my cause this morning, my father, for judgment without mercy to the one who has known no mercy. Mercy triumph over judgment, whatever demonic judgment, satanic judgment, oh Lord, witches and wizard judgment, demonic judgment, principals and power judgment, king of the prince of Pasha judgment, my father, judgment in my father's house, judgment in my mother's house, oh Lord, my father, plead my cause, oh God, let mercy prevail. Let mercy prevail. 
open your mouth and begin to pray whatever judgment my father in the realm of the spirit Lord Jesus let mercy prevail over bad dreams satanic dream let mercy prevail open your mouth open your mouth we are they are taking my name to oh God we are they are mentioning my name for evil my father plead my God let mercy prevail over satanic judgment over demonic judgment judgment from the pit of hell judgment from burial ground my father let mercy prevail oh God mercy prevail for the woman who committed adultery in the book of John 8 my father Lord mercy prevail Lord you rescue her from the hand of those who strive with her from the hand of her enemy from the hand of bread oh Lord my father the accuser of brethren my father Lord Jesus let mercy prevail for me oh Lord God my father let mercy prevail for me Open your mouth this morning. My father, let mercy prevail. Let mercy prevail. In any kingdom of darkness, in any force of darkness, in the COVID of the witches and the wizard, on the witchcraft, in the world market of surface of darkness, mercy should prevail over every judgment. As God, my father, Lord, plead my cause. Lord, plead my cause. Lord, plead my cause. Lord, plead my cause this morning. Plead the cause of the new life in Christ ministry my father the assignment given to us in this short plead our cause oh god talk to god this morning my father plead my cause you are my father you are my god you are my lord plead my cause enough is enough of struggling plead my cause enough is enough of backwardness oh lord plead my cause lord i must reach my goal plead my cause to reach my goal, to make it on time, plead my cause. Talk to God. In Jesus' name we prayed. He said, fight against those who are fighting against me. Go back to 35 Psalms, sir. Oh, fight against those who fight against me. You have jumped it. Fight against those who fight against me. Yes, 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 go ahead. Take hold of shed and buckler and stand off my head. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Ah, I, I decree can say louder amen. The Lord will pursue our pursuer. He will stop those who are pursuing us. Any human being, any beast that pursues us in the dream, in the realm of the spirit, the Lord will stop them. The Lord will pursue them. He said, also draw this fear and stop those who pursue me. Stop them, my father. God knows how to stop his, his enemy. He used the thick darkness to stop Egyptian when they are running after Israelites. He used water, that is the, 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 the Red Sea, to stop them, to destroy them, to demolish them. The law will stop our pursuer. Also draw this fear and stop those who pursue us. Oh, say to our soul, I am your salvation. Yes, go ahead from me, sir. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor. Who seek after our life? Let those be turned back and brought to mortal confusion. Who plot our heart? Yes? Let them be like shall before the wind and let the angel of the Lord share them. You can't say amen. amen. Say louder, amen. amen. Say louder, amen. amen. Our enemy fire will consume them. Those who are holding us to draw us back, I pray, the earth will swallow them up. The Lord will catapult them to the grave. I pray the Lord will remove the fruits of their life. Anyone that makes us to be struggling, whereby we do not to struggle, I pray the Lord will remove the life of their life. It will remove the fruits of their life. It will catapult them to the grave. As we open his mouth and swallow them, say, I am delivered. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. Verse 7, for without cause, you see, they have hidden their net from me in the pit, which they have done without cause for my life. Yes, let destruction come upon them unexpectedly, and let their net they have hidden catch themselves into that very destruction. Let them fall. Let them fall. 
Let them fall. The Bible said those who dig a pit shall fall into it. And any stone that wrote to us shall roll back to them. Say, Father, fight for me. Fight for me. Fight for me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let my enemy be put to shame. Say to my soul, O Lord Jesus, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. He shall rejoice in your salvation. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Right now, Father, fight for me. Go to brother, fight for me, fight for my ministry, fight for my calling, fight for the new life in Christ's ministry, fight for my children, fight for our wife, fight, oh Lord, for the wife of my children, their husband, our grandchildren, fight for my destiny, fight for my glory. Open your mouth and begin to cry. My father, fight for me. Every net that the enemies have had to me, let their net catch themselves, oh Lord, into that very destruction. Let them fall, let them fall. Let them fall in the name of Jesus. Talk to God. Talk to God. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Second to the last, Psalm 63, verse 9 and 10. You will talk to God. Those who have vowed, those who have vowed that when they are still alive, I will not have peace of mind. Talk to God to take them away. They vow, they beat them chest. They are chest that if we are still alive, these fellow will not have peace. You will talk to God. Send them to the grave. Tie them down. Let them enter into captivity. Brethren, don't you know <clears throat> that when God confuses your enemy, when God gives them a work to do, they will not be able to listen, to, to, to think of you at all. When God injects them with sickness and diseases, they will not be able to think of you at all. Saul was pursuing David. And suddenly someone ran after him and told Saul, there's a war in your camp. And Saul asked to stop pursuing David to go back to his camp to defend his people without knowing that it's a rumor. Somebody say rumor. Your enemy will hear rumor. I say they will hear rumor. Amen. God knows the way he can fight for his people. You remember in the book of that second Kings 7 that the, the, the army, the armies of Syria, they said when well, they had rumor that the king of, 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 uh, of, of Israel have hired an, a, a soldier from Egypt, from here, from there to fight us. And they left everything and they ran away. God knows the way he can fight for his people. In the book of Exodus 14, the bond thing the, the gods did when Egyptians are pursuing Israelites, the first thing that God did, he removed the wheels of their horses. He removed the four tires. When you remove the four tires of car, can he move again? And the Bible says he drove them in the difficulties way. So they want, to, they want to get out of that difficulties. They can't. And Israel is moving. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord God who created the heaven and the earth will fight for you. But those, six, but those, those who, who seek my life to destroy it shall I go into the lower part of the earth. Where is the lower part of the earth? In the grave. Those who seek my life to destroy, they will die before us. I can't hear your amen. Those who say we frustrate your life, they will die before us. Those who say the way we come to this country is the way we are going to return back, they will die before us. But those who seek my life to destroy shall go to that part of the earth, they shall fall by their sword, they shall be a portion for their God. Say, Father! Say, Father! Those who seek my life to destroy it, and the life of my children, Lord, I pray, 
Let them go to that part of the earth in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, my Father, those who seek my life to destroy, those who seek the life of this world to destroy, shall I go into the lower part of the earth by the power in the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, they shall go into the lower part of the earth. Those who seek my life to destroy, whoever that's seeking the life of my wife or our children or their wife, their husband or grandchildren to destroy it, I pray, I decree on this altar, on this holy mountain, Father, scatter put them to the grave. Let them die before me. Let them die before my wife. Let our enemy die before our children, before their wife, their husband or grandchildren, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord, let our enemy die in our place. In the name of Jesus, those who wanted to frustrate my ministry, those who want to frustrate my calling, those who want to frustrate the love in Christ's ministry, whereby they are, let them die in the place of the love in Christ's ministry. Oh, Lord, my Father, Saul, fall by his own sword. Let our enemy fall by the own sword. Goliath, die by his own sword. Lord, let our enemy die by the own sword. Haman, O oh Lord, and his household and his ten children, they die by the own sword, by their wickedness. Let our enemy die by their wickedness. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, O oh God. Return the evil arrow of the enemy back to them, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender. Those who want to frustrate our life, let those be frustrated. Plunder those who plunder us. Disgrace what to disgrace us, oh God. Fight our battle and let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Sing this song. I will never let you go unless you bless me. I will never. We are singing three times, please. Unless we bless me. We want to pray for blessing now. I will never let you go unless you bless me. I will never let you go unless you bless me. Oh, oh, I will never let you go unless you bless me. I will never let you go unless you, my God, I will never let you go. Unless you bless me, I will never let you go. Unless you bless me, I will never let you go. Unless you bless me, I will never let you go. Unless you bless me, oh, oh, I will never let you go. Unless you bless me, I will never let you go. Unless Genesis 20, 32, verse 25. I want you to cry to God Almighty, the Lord, let this month be the month of my blessing. Let it be the month of my breakthrough. Let it be the month that every promise of God shall come to pass in my life. Let this month be the month. Are we there? Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he tore the socket of his him, and the socket of Jacob's him was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go, for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. 27. So he said to him, what is your name? He said, Jacob. And he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Yes. Then Jacob asked him, tell me your name, I pray. And he said, what is it that you ask about my name? And he blessed him there. Stand on your feet. Say, my father. my father. Say, my father. my father. Let this month, the month of April, the month of restoration, be the month of my blessing. 
month of breakthrough, month of transformation, month of salvation, month of healing, month of deliverance. Open your mouth, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I declare, let this month be my month, the month that every promise of God will come to fulfillment in my life, the month to reach my goal. Lord, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Bring out my Israel out of Jacob. Bring out my Israel out of Jacob. Jacob, my Father, my God, and my Lord, bring out my Israel out of Jacob. I decree, O oh Lord, my Lord and my God, let not my situation remain the same. My Father, transform my life. Bless me, connect me with the right people. Let there be divine connection. Let there be divine introduction. Let there be divine intervention. Let there be divine visitation. My Father, visit me. Oh, my Father, visit me. Connect me with the right people. Connect me with the right man. Connect me with the right woman. Connect me with my destiny helper. Whereby they are connect me. Let there be divine connection. Oh, Lord God. God, my father remember me today remember me today remember me today remember me today my lord and my god remember me everlasting father remember me oh lord jesus my father remember me oh god my lord jesus remember me thank you holy spirit blessed be the holy name for in jesus name we are prayed the last but not the least, Exodus 2, verse 23 and 25. We want to read, when we read, finish, we sing this song. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, O Lord. For your mercy's sake. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, O Lord, for your mercy's sake. We know the songs. Let's go. Now it happened the process of a time. Everything has a time. Everything has a time. Time of our prophecy is terminated today. That the king of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage and they cried out and their cry came up to God because of the bondage. So God had their groaning and God remember his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of the new life in Christ's ministry and God God acknowledge us and God acknowledge us and God acknowledge us. We want to sing the song. God remember them and he acknowledge them. He remember his covenant and he has them. He remember his covenant and he remember them. I want to say father remember me O Lord your hand. Remember me O Lord Remember me, O oh Lord, for your mercy's sake. Loud and clear, loud and clear. Remember me, O oh Lord, for your mercy's sake. Oh yes, remember me, O oh Lord, for your mercy's sake. Say, my Father, remember your covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Acknowledge me now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Remember me, my Father. Lord Jesus, remember me. 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 Remember my situation. Remember me, oh God. My Father, remember me. My Lord Jesus, remember me. Remember your covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember your promise upon my life. Remember your covenant with the new life in Christ's ministry. 
Remember that you called me. I did not call myself. Remember your grace upon my life. Remember the fresh anointing. Remember, Lord, that you have done it before. My Lord, oh my God, I plan to do it again. In the new life in Christ's ministry, my Father, revisit us. Visit your church, my Father. Let the enemies of the new life in Christ's ministry in this nation and all over the world, let them be put to shame. Those who, oh Lord, says, my Father, where is our God? Show yourself to them, oh God. Don't let them say we are selling all. Don't let them say this is what we want in their life. Father, remember me, oh God. Bring out my Israel out of Jacob. Let your light shine upon me. Oh Lord, before they break tonight, today, oh Lord, remember me. Connect me with the right people. Connect me with the right fellow, oh God. Divine connection, divine acceleration, divine fixation, divine, oh Lord Jesus, my Lord, my Father, divine word, my Father, my Father, Lord, prophesies to my life, take me to the next level, open every closing gate, open every closing door, take me from back to the front, and let me reach my goal, I ask for good health, my Lord Jesus, my Father, I ask for good health, I ask for long life and prosperity, let me enjoy the works of my hand, let me long enjoy the work of my hand, another person will not take my place, my place will not be empty. My office will not become that person's office. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not blind, I will not have stroke, I will not paralyze. In the name of Jesus, none of my, none of the part of my body will leave me go. Your name will be glorified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. We worship you, we honor you. We adore you, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Begin to wave your hands to the King of Kings this morning because our prayer has been answered. If you see what I saw in this house today, you will glorify him. Worship him, honor him, adore him. Glory be to the holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you, we worship you. Bless his holy name. Magnify his name because our prayer has been answered. He has visited us. He has answered our prayer. He has attended to us. Brethren, wave your hand, wave your hand as, he, as, as, an, as, as, as a clapping offering. Wave your hand. Thank him. Bless him. Magnify his name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name, we pray. When we are praying, I saw someone in this house. You wear army uniform, but there is no cap. You wear army uniform. And all of a sudden, a three men came to you, they wear the same uniform on the ride on a bicycle. And they wanted to fall on that bicycle, but one of them hold you, you rescue him not to fall. Listen, you are here. You know yourself. You have seen this before. Then, after that one left, I saw a man, the senior officer, Riding the bicycle also, and uh, yes, bicycle also, and you are going on the road. I saw this clean and clear when we are praying, and he stopped you. He wanted to be asking you your station, your barrack, and the sign that Hami used to have. Then you begin to run away. You begin to run away, and the man did not pursue you. You enter into a place. And you are telling the people there that if anyone asks that is there any army or soldier run to this house, tell them there is no one. And all of a sudden, they remove that garment from you and they begin to cleanse, cleanse you, cleanse you. And I was asking, the Lord asked me to announce to that fellow that they have removed the garment of battle in your life for life. I had it in Yoruba. They said, The Lord said they have removed every, every garment of battle that enemies have put on you right away from your father's house. They remove it from you. Amen. The battle is over in your life. Amen. Right to this date that you will glorify God. Another person here 
I saw. You are in the forest. No, you are in, on the road. And I saw a man. He had died in your family and appeared to you and is taking you into the bush. You are following him. And all of a sudden, the man that is you are following begin to tear his clothes, naked himself, run mad, and you run back to the city. And there are some other three people, I'm still seeing them, the same thing, the, the, the people have died in your family. They are young guys, and they run mad also. The Lord asked me to say to that fellow, I know you, but I won't mention your name. The Lord asked me to tell that fellow right now, that the people that are troubling your destiny in your father's house, they have run mad. Yeah. As the prayer is going on, I saw two people in this house, a man and a woman. You don't know yourself, you are not family, but the, the Lord said they are going through the same challenges, a man and a woman. The Lord opened the eye, my eyes. I saw them. I know them. But I won't mention anybody here. Anyone that is yours, grab it and pray over it. Because I know the battle is won here this morning. I saw a man and a woman when the prayer is going on. And the Lord said I should be looking at them. As I'm looking, you are moving faster before. All of a sudden, there's a landmark before you, a bush bush, bush everywhere. And all of a sudden you stop. Both of you, and you begin to sweat. You don't know where this sweat is coming. You look left, you look right. So when the prayer is going on, and I saw those two people, immediately they, they heard a voice, move forward! And they begin to move. The way they are moving, the bush was cleared. The way they are moving, the bush was cleared. The Lord asked me to announce to two people in this house, that from this moment, from this time, no more difficulties. Amen. The last that I saw is everyone in this house. I saw they are giving us corn. Cook one, roasted one. Corn, roasted one. How many of us know corn? Roasted one. Fresh roasted one. And I was asking what is enough the corn roasted giving to everyone the lord asked me to tell us that the prayer we pray here today reach his kingdom Amen. and that is the answer to our prayer what you are asking for is what they are giving to you i didn't mean that we are eating the corn in the spirit when i've seen it we should forget it but none of all eat it which means our blessing is permanent. Amen. Let's glorify God. Let's glorify God. Let's honor Him. Let's bless His holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless Him with the holy name. Someone you are here with headache in this house today. The Lord said you have taken care of the headache. Someone you are here this morning in our midst, you are here. You came with bitter of mind. The Lord asked me to tell you that we turn your mara water into sweetness water. Yeah. You came with heavy hearts. And the Lord said to me, before the end of this week, you begin to see a sign that he has attended to that case yeah. in the name of Jesus. The one that dreamed that you, they are telling you or you are perceive it in your heart that you will die, you will die, you will die. The Lord asked me to tell you, it is an evil imagination that you will not die. Amen. The Lord asked me to announce to you, you will not die. Amen. He shall be well with you. Amen. Offering time. <laughs> Our offering, tight. If you want to pay your tight, if you want to pay, bring your offering. Let's do so very quickly. Praise God. Day 
Things are getting better. Things are getting better. For the Lord is on the throne. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Things are getting. Things are getting better. Hallelujah. Oh. For the Lord is on the throne. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Things are working. Things are working for me. Things are working for me. For the Lord is on the throne. Things are working for me. Things are working for me. Things are working for me. Things are working. Hallelujah, oh, Jesus are working for me, oh. For the Lord is on the throne, Jesus are working for me. Jesus are working for me, Jesus are working for me. Things are getting, things are getting better. Things are getting better. Oh, Lord, I am so. Things are getting better. It is raining all around me. I can feel it. Oh, with a lot of rain. Right on, Jesus. Give us more rain. Until we are well, until we are so with a lot of It is raining, in, in, in. all around me, all around you. Oh, I can feel it, feel it, with a lot of rain, yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, than Jesus, give us more rain. Until we are wet, until we are soaked, with a lot of shout, shout. With a lot of rain, yeah, yeah. Light on Jesus, give us more rain. Until we are wet, until we are soaked with a lot of, oh, oh, until we are wet, wet, wet. Until we are soaked with a lot, ah, until we are wet, until we are soaked with a lot. Shout, 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 hallelujah. Until we are wet, until we are so with a lot and one, two, three, four. Until we are wet, until we are so with a lot and Father, we just want to say thank you for the heaven that has opened for our prayers. For the light that's shining upon everyone here. For sickness and disease that we dare with. For the bush that we clear off. For you deliver us from the powers of dead. For your mighty hand. For all our prayers in this house. Father, Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We know and we believe that we have cried unto you. And we know and we believe that you have answered us. According to number 1428, we have cried unto you. We have spoken into your hearing, into your ear. You have heard and you have said to. Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Daddy, I pray. Before the end of April, let there be transformation. Amen. Let there be good news. Amen. Let there be testimony galore. Amen. Settle everyone in this house. Amen. Connect us with the destiny helper. Amen. Those who want to marry, connect them with their own husband and wife. <clears throat> Those who are trusted for the foot of the womb, Father, grant it for them. 
Lord, everything, O oh Lord, it will be done by you. There is nothing that is too hard for you to do. Jobless in this house, provide them for a good job. Amen. The businessmen and the businesswomen, the caterer, the pharmacy, the care homes, our nurses and doctors, our midwife, Father, protect them. Amen. Their business, O oh Lord, will not collapse. Amen. Father, increase and multiply us. Amen. Let this offering be acceptable in your kingdom. And let it be useful for the glory of your name. Yeah. Every of our project in this house, both home and abroad, Father, finance it yourself. Yeah. Lord, raise men and women for us. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' wonderful, mighty name, we have prayed. Yeah. A louder amen. amen. God bless you. On Saturday, we have our uh, Bible study in the evening tonight. So if you are not tired, let's come together to, <clears throat> to learn at the feet of Jesus. And on Friday, is push program. On Saturday, is Oluwa Dasimi, which translates in English, invite your friends and your colleagues. The man of God is still around. He's visiting us on Saturday. And the team is Oluwa Boasho Mularami. And you see that someone here, they have removed that garment of war or battle in your life. And it will be, it will be me in Jesus' name. So let's come together on Saturday by 10 o'clock. On Sunday is our service, divinal service, victory service, as we know. So let's invite one or two people to come into the presence of God. It shall be well with us and all the promise of God in this house shall come to pass. We will never struggle again. In Jesus' name we pray. Shall we stand up and share the grace together in fellowship? The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, or the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with me right now and forevermore. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name.